I was out here bandoliering some ammo and um, I started thinking exactly how much more weight is there in 120 rounds of magazine ammo than there is in 120 rounds of bandolier ammo. I am pretty sure this does weigh more than this, but if you ask me, I couldn't tell you. So let's find out. So for this highly scientific um, experiment, I've chosen four polymer magazines, and they're all different brands. There's a Tapco, an MFP, there's a Magpul, PMAG, and this is a Hexmag. So I just, I actually pulled them at random, but I just happened to get four different brands. And I don't think that that's really going to be that big a deal. I thought about rummaging through and finding um, some metal mags and seeing, but you know, most people use polymer mags now. So I think this will be a good test. And what I'm going to do to make sure this is fair, as I do with all scientific uh, experiments, is I'm going to tie these guys up somehow so I can hang them from the from the uh, scale. And then I'll I'll actually attach this cord afterwards to the bandolier so that it's fair. Now, if you're not familiar with bandoliers, um, each there's four pockets and each pocket has 30 rounds. So we have, also have four magazines. Each magazine has 30 rounds. I happen to be using M855 green tips. They're exactly the same ammo. All green tips in there. All green tips in there. Um, you know, the, the, the bandolier comes with what bandoliers come with. There's a charger in there or a speed loader. And there's the little uh, uh, um, clip there. Uh, safety pin. Those things come with it, so those are going to be with it. And we're just going to see how much more it weighs to have them in the magazine as opposed to have them in the bandolier. And we're not going to take into account what you're carrying them in. And here's why. Here's my thinking. I could get a saw pouch out, and that bandolier would fit great in a saw pouch, or four mags will fit great in a saw pouch. So we're just going to, for this, for this experiment, say you would be carrying them in the same container regardless of which one you went with. Now I know, I know, probably this bandolier would be carried in a butt pack or even in a backpack. So the weight of that container would be spread loaded across other things in the case of the bandolier. But you know, you could argue that, hey, I got four extra magazines going in my butt pack or going in my backpack. So we're just gonna call that a wash and we're just going to weigh the actual items and first uh, generation carriers not consider what else would be involved. Does that make sense? It made sense to me before I said it. All right, there we go. The four magazines full of M855 is tremulously balanced and they weigh 4.36 pounds. And next we weigh our bandolier and to make it fair, we've put our blue paracord on there. And that weighs all of 3.60 pounds. Interesting, interesting. All right, so the results are in. Four magazines with 120 rounds weigh 4.36 pounds. The bandolier with the same 120 rounds only weighs 3.60 pounds. That is, a, that is a difference of 0.76 pounds or three quarters of a pound. Now you may be thinking, well, three quarters of a pound, that's not that much. I'll just load them in my mags and be ready to go. Good. That makes sense. But this is only 120 rounds. What if, you know, the the squad leader, the pat patrol leader, whoever in this scenario we're talking about, tells you you need to take an extra 240. In other words, two bandoliers or eight magazines. Even if you have that many magazines to spare because you're probably carrying a, a minimum load of six or seven or whatever magazines. Um, that's a lot of magazines. So now, that, now that's an, an extra pound and a half that you're carrying in polymer. So what it comes down to is in your scenario, how important is it that you be able to load these magazines immediately because you're making that Alamo last stand? Or in your scenario, do you have time to reload magazines. They don't take that long to reload. 
Now, if you're under fire, no, that's not a good idea. But if you breeze through six or seven magazines, whatever your, your primary load is, and um, you're still in it, it may be time to um, pop smoke. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. Um, I find it interesting. Hopefully you do too. Thanks for watching.